Okay. Ladies and gents, I hope you like Low Elo Legends. Oh, please build a TC. Oh, Sora, no. Sora, this is a different map. On any other map, you start by building two houses, but this is step. And you don't start with the town center here. You, you have to build one before your two houses. No. Sora, build the TC. Okay, Red is going to place his TC here. Oh, no. Sora, please build it, build it, build it. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Everyone relax. Take a deep breath. It's fine. So if you don't know, Step is kind of a complicated map. So I can see how like newer players would be confused on this. You actually start with yurts, which give you pop space. And you obviously don't start with a town center. So the better play is to build the TC as soon as possible. So you can create new villagers. But we have Psy the Red voice who's playing as the Goths, and Sora, who's playing as the Franks in this low ELO Legends matchup. They're both around 700 ELO. Um, I think Sora is on a two-game win streak, from what I've heard. So there's sheep, there's boars, there's also a lot of deer in the center on this map, so if you're looking to pick a sieve here, Mongols is really strong for that. <clears throat> Red as well. He's building a whole lot of houses he doesn't need right now. Probably the best skill you could learn is just look at here all the time. 7 out of 30 pop space. Yeah, you don't need to put all your wood into houses right now. 0 on wood. Well, I probably should send 1 or 2 to wood so I can afford things later on. Those types of things. But what, what is going to make life complicated for newer players are these different maps. Like Nomad Starts specifically. Because you do things in a completely different order. So you start with a horse. And you can scout with that, and Sora seems to have excellent scouting, I like that. Red uh, also is scouting with his horse. Yeah. So I, I'm not going to stress a lot over them not knowing how Nomad starts work, but it's pretty much about adapting here. So the Nomad can teach you a lot about like, how to adapt. Constantly looking at the top left to see, okay, eight on food, that should be enough for bills. Let's bring in some wood. Yeah, I mean, red's doing okay. Um, oof, that lumber camp hurts my soul. Because after he chops that tree, that will be very far away from the other trees. Whereas if you build it literally anywhere else in that wood line, it's better. Like here or here, then you can chop cheese trees on either side. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see. I feel like this is a really good castle drop map for low elo. Because there's so many resources in the center. And players will freak out if they don't have them. But remember. We will laugh. We will cry. I'm a human being with emotions. And I am always... I always have the players at heart when I am being critical or, or talking about their gameplay. Alright, I'm trying to help people improve here. And also help people relate. And oh no! Why are you eating sheep up against the gold? Now that guy can't drop off his food. Uh, it's just. I haven't told. Him, All right, that's fine. My wife will be a surrogate for baby T ninety if you fail to find a mate. What? My wife will be a surrogate for baby T ninety if you fail to find a mate. I'm gonna pass. Thank you for the offer. I guess. It's Kreesh, thank you for the 13 months. 16 villagers for both. 16 villagers for both. Okay. I wonder if they're if they will lure boars. Also, blue is, is going for crazy scouting. Dude, with that much wood, you should have four villagers off wood. Pull them off. Build a mill on the deer. Look at that. That's so much wood. And start hunting, my friend. Yeah, that's true. His wife basically said I'm hot. Thanks, man. Hmm. What are the odds we see man at arms here? I feel like the supplies upgrade in the barracks is like noob bait. They see it and they want to click it. Goths don't get that. <gasps> Two barracks in Dark Age! 350 wood 
Into the double barracks? Well, when I said infantry, I didn't truly think we'd see it. At least not now. Alright, well that... That's a lot of investment into barracks that I don't think he can afford to use right now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> already... <laughs> he is doing better than Blue did in the Imperial Age in the previous game. He's produced more than one military building. Or more of one... More than one of the same building. Yeah, he probably listened to my cast in the previous game. Except then it was the Imperial Age, so... Oof. Alright, blue did Laura Pig, red did Laura Pig. It's my little TC time from both of them. He's going out to bring this... Oh, no, he doesn't have Loom. Not only does he not have Loom, and is this long distance, but he has 27 food in that villager's hand. So if he loses this vill... Oh, no. It's okay. He had another boar. He didn't need the 27 food. It's fine. Um, he's scouting over here. And he has scouted the double barrack strategy. Now, how... The, th the triple barracks! The triple barracks in Dark Age? What? Three? That's a lot of barracks! Wow. Uh... <laughs> Okay, uh, he's going to bring in this boar. <laughs> what if he? What if he makes a wall of barracks? What if he makes a whole wall of barracks? That'd be amazing. Oh, come on, shoot, shoot the pig, shoot the boar. All right, nice. He's not using them yet. So, so let me just back up and talk about, like, seriously, why this is alarming. Um, if you're investing 175 wood into a barracks, you should use it. If you want to just build them for later, that's fine in Castle Age, but that could have been farms and you could have had you could have had hundreds more food now, you know? No way! He's building more of them! Oh my god, is he preparing for imp? Five? I've never seen anything like this. And he's ahead in eco. That's the thing. He's ahead in eco. He's keeping his vills producing. So he has eight more vills. He wants to... I don't know. Like It's weird how he has the house walls going to these barracks. I wish he would have connected them. Uh-oh. What if... What if... <laughs> what if Blue is listening to some, some previous cast of mine? Where I say, Well, sometimes the best counter is actually to mirror your opponent's strategy. That just happens sometimes. And then he's like, oh, really? Boom, 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 boom. And builds like six barracks to counter what Red is doing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. All right. Well, he's on his way to feudal. Okay. Um, which Red is not. He's chopping his wood long distance. He is on. He's heavy on gold. He is 623 gold. For every 100 gold that he has, his opponent has a barracks. Another barracks is going up. I was actually kidding. I didn't think he'd have another one. Uh, Alright. There's just massive gaps here, too. Like, whatever, just walk around all my buildings and attack my people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's past midnight and I'm driving and loading Louis land to the brink of crying. That you low LO legends. <laughs> oh, red. He's going to scout the TC of blue. Wow, blue reacted instantly. Just passing. Let's get some just passings in the chat. Red's thinking, wait, what? Well, he's not going to have the wood for barracks because his lumber camp doesn't have any lumberjacks there. But... There's a new lumber camp now. BKD, dude, thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, you're driving, laughing out loud to the brink of crying, and donating to my stream? Well, please do not donate and drive. A seventh bear? No! What are you talking? Dude! How many barracks is he going to build? Seriously, say a number. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight barracks right now, and there's still plenty of spaces for more. 
<laughs> what? Okay, what if he goes for an instant attack and wins? What if he actually produces out of every single one? Technically, he has enough resources to produce eight militia at once. I, I bet you any money, bet you any money, not any money, because I... I Oh, he's building more. I think he's gonna use only one. He's gonna produce. He's gonna make all these barracks, and he's gonna use only one. I can just feel it. He is getting his eco techs. He's getting his lumber camp tech, his farm tech. So he knows about that stuff. He's even getting all of his mining techs. He's getting it all out of the way. You know what? I think the name of the game for Red is Think Ahead. <laughs> Think ahead. Get the eco text regardless of the time. Get it as quickly as possible. Barracks, quickly as possible. There's no adapting here. This is all... This is all about playing towards a certain strategy. Oh. Also, Blue is scouting, but he has not scouted the Great Wall of Barracks yet. Oh, but he's on the way. You see where he set his waypoints? Oh my god. Wait, where's the other waypoint? Wow, okay, he has waypoints all over this map. Wow, it might take an hour for him to get there. What is Blue doing, by the way? 1,000 gold. It's funny, he has 1,200 gold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so he now has more... He does not just have 100 gold for every barracks Red has. Oh, that's cute, the horses are passing each other. He has even more than that. How do you set waypoints? Hold shift. Okay, Blue is chasing Red's horse. Is he actually chasing his horse? Or does it just look like that? Why are the horses racing? Uh, Seabiscuit? No, it's just the waypoints. Okay. Um, now we have a market and a blacksmith. I, I can't wait to show you Blue's point of view. Okay, ready, 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 ready? Oh, did I just pause it? Ah! Okay, we're good. He set his waypoint so randomly. My zoom hotkey won't work. That's what I tried to do. Oh, I was pressing the wrong one. All right, here he goes. Oh, he's making houses exactly like Red makes his barracks. Talk about intimidation factor. All right, he sees the fields. He sees the fields. He set the waypoints all throughout Red's base. Red, if you can snipe this thing, you'll hide your strategy from your opponent. Shh, sees the farms. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. He, I mean, listen, there's nothing wrong with setting waypoints like this. There's nothing wrong. However, at this point, I feel like, get it, at this point, you should probably scout the front of your opponent's base. You saw three barracks, or two, confirmed. You should at least see if he's making stuff. Wait, where'd it go? Alright. This, this guy scouts, yes. Now he's making an archery range, a stable, a barracks. Alright, he's making a lot of stuff. And Red also, not concerned. Not concerned with what Blue is doing at all, and also set waypoints randomly throughout the map. Lots of waypoints. Okay, here comes Blue Scout. He just sets the waypoints at the beginning of the game all over the map. Now he doesn't have to do anything anymore. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, he sees the stone. Please tell me he's going to the right. Oh, <gasps> sees the houses. One barracks, two barracks. He doesn't see the Great Wall of Barracks. Wait, where's this waypoint going? Man! So he's only going to confirm that there's five barracks. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of houses, Red. Okay. Like, why not build the barracks in a straight line and then use the houses to full wall yourself? I don't understand these shapes. <laughs> I don't understand the shapes. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> this is... Like, some low-level players, they play SimCity, and they try and place things all cute, but this gives... This bothers me. 
if I fly over this in an airplane, am I gonna see? Is this like a crop circle, except an Age of Empires equivalent? Like, what type of message is behind this? Okay, red will go to Castle H after the next two villagers. Blue. Um. He decided to farm on the front of his base after seeing that red has five barracks. All right. Um, he's getting armor. He just researched armor. He's getting blacksmith techs. And he's building buildings. And he's going to this stone because this stone isn't enough. So let's just get all the stones. Yeah, because if you lose the forward stone, then you have the backup. Makes sense. All right. And now he should probably go Castle Age. I hope he goes Castle Age. No, don't make scouts now. What? You know what? I want to see Red's reaction to the- Oh my god! The man won't stop! He's making more! I'm actually getting hoarse because of this. He's making more! Did you use the first barracks? Nope. Second? Nope. Third? Nope. Fourth? Nope. No! We need 20 barracks before we attack. Our opponent will never expect it. Is he goths? Yeah, he's goths, but the issue is... Like, someone do the math on that. That is a total of 13 barracks. Multiply that by 175. He still has 800 wood banked up. Imagine the resources he would have if he would have farmed with that. Like, make them, right? Make them, but make them at the proper time is my only point here. Oh, man. And here Blue sits. Where's his scout? Okay, let's look at the waypoints and see how long it's going to take him to get to scouting the center again. He wants to scout that area, this area. Uh, nope, he's not going to scout it at all. Not going to scout it at all. And he's also has not clicked up to cast late because he's making fuel age army, like really late. He sees he sees red is in cast age and he's sprung into action. Oh, stop the barracks! Boom! First villager kill of the game. And now he's running back. No, now he's running forward. Here comes the attack. How will Red react to this? He has pikemen, squires, longsword, and arson all coming in. In all of his barracks? No. He's researching all four techs in one single barracks. I knew this crap was going to happen. Oh, but he's producing out of... He's producing out of the, the others. Alright, so one is, the, one is basically the blacksmith of the barracks. And the other ones are for production. I like it. And he defends from the scouts, and he knew to make pikemen. And now Blue is on his way to Castle Age. He really needs, I think, ideally in this matchup, you actually need throwing axemen. I don't expect low-level players to know to go for throwing axemen. Guys, if Red went like this, set a gather point, and just produced full longswords, he'd win. Instantly. He would have 150 pop. He'd instantly win. In his defense, that is a DE bug. If you select four barracks and research four techs, it will queue them all in the same one. I don't think that's a bug, right? I think that's just how the game works. If you're... Like, what you would have to do is, is select... I don't think it should distribute the techs throughout multiple barracks. But maybe it should, I don't know. I mean, Crossbow would be fine against the Pikemen. Crossbow sucks against the Huskarls that Red could make. And Red is getting Anarchy. So you need... If Goths get to this stage, you need to have a castle and throwing Axemen as Franks. He's making scouts and he's making archers. And that's just not gonna work. I mean, he could fight now, but... Okay, he's going to castle there. Oh boy. I would prefer to see the castle here. It's closer to the economy. I'm just I'm just so excited for Red to mass produce. Anarchy means he can produce barracks from his bar <laughs> produce barracks from his barracks. <laughs> At this point, his barracks might as well produce other barracks because that seems to be what he would like. Um Huskarls, you can produce Oh my god. With Anarchy, you can produce Huskarls from the barracks. Sorry. This is frying my brain. My brain is fried. In a good way. In a positive way. He has 20, 25 more vills. 
He's, he's booming on three town centers. And he's still building these weird house walls. Fascinating. So yeah, I mean, if you, if this guy can boom on, is that four town centers? Four town centers. If he can boom on four town centers, if he didn't build that many barracks early and just went to Castle Age fast, then boomed, then built the barracks, he'd be in a fantastic position. Red is a neat freak, you think so? I don't know. On some level I'd agree, but on many other levels I'd disagree. Okay, Blue has its castle up, and he's going to raid with scouts. He sees the pikemen. He's running away from the pikemen. He has not taken a single hit yet. Oh, Red wanted to trap him. <laughs> Imagine how Blue, how Blue must feel right now. Follow the long corridor of houses. Oh, oh, the micro! Blue brought him back to the castle, and now he has crossbows. Oh, wow, and he'll go right back through the tunnel. What a god. Let's go. Okay. He's also getting a lot of upgrades. He's getting armor and attack. He's getting armor for his... Stable units and armor for his infantry units. Oh boy. You need axemen. You need a lot of axemen. Actually, you could go knights against huskarls. But then, you know, pikes can come out. I don't think red can comfortably fight underneath this castle, though. Okay, my focus now is on... Wow, okay, castle between the three lines. But why is he sending vills this way if he's going to build a castle there? Who's building that castle? Whose job is it? This is very interesting. I don't know. Oh, that one, that one villager. Okay. Yeah, I don't expect lower level players to know they can go for the Axeman. You could go for champion, or like long swords, I guess. But the difference here is purely down to the economy. Okay, he's going to build that with four villagers. Now, what's fascinating about Red is he, he seems to have... This skill set to boom. Because in the previous game, we didn't see players go for this many bills. 95 bills. That's a lot for this elo. I think red could be two times the rating if he worked on build orders. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If he just didn't build 10 barracks in Dark Age, he'd be fine. For sure. I mean, blue just seems completely... He, he's probably completely confused. But his TC's been idle... He actually, oh, that's cute. His horse is underneath his TC. Not producing more vills, just raiding. He's killing villagers, and he seems to have good micro, but balancing everything is tough. Ah, I see. Red built the four barracks, so he'd have to back up barracks later on. It's all a trick. It's, it's all part of his master plan. And he's now on the way to the Imperial Age. So with Goths, just go Elite Huskarl, Champion, and Flood. I've yet to see him make use of all of his barracks. And Blue is just building castles everywhere. If the villager count wasn't what it is, I would say that Blue could easily win this game. But... I'm not so sure. He, he's in his university. He's researching treadmill crane, uh, murder holes. Which, all right, whatever. Uh, whoa! Look at the deer. Whoa! What is happening? This is like a hologram or something. What is that bug? <laughs> the deer wants in the castle. <laughs> Bambi, don't do it. Don't do it. The gate will fall on you. There's two deer there? Wait, there's two? Is that two deer? I think it's one, and it's just glitching. Oui. Ow! Nope, there's one. <laughs> He's like, Frank, wake up. We've got a job to do. Blue is on the way to the Imperial Age. He's not making units that would work for him here. Can you imagine if I just... 
If I was dropped into this game to cast it from this point, I would have so many questions. The, seeing Red's walls and barracks is just so confusing to me. Now this is the content I subbed for. Now remember, this meme here... Blue has killed way more villagers than Red has killed. In fact, I don't think Red has killed any villagers. But Blue hasn't been creating villagers. So, he's feeling really confident because he's sniping Vils. And then he looks at the score, and he's like, what? How do I not have eco? I killed more villagers than him. Well, you're not creating any, my friend. He, he does have 10 vills after Imp. That's good. I, I really wish you would make Axeman. Okay, Red is now getting Perfusion, which means his infantry creates faster. So with... 7,000 barracks and perfusion. He should be golden. Again, blue killing a few villagers here or there. Not really a big deal. Hmm. He does also have a lead Huskarl. And he's building more. He's surrounding the guy. <laughs> he's building more. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he has about 80 population space ready for military. This better be- he, he better fully pop within 5 seconds. Otherwise I'm gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> now, I mean, his eco- he's still producing bills. I am really impressed at this elo that he's been doing that. Blue is getting a lot of techs uh, now. He's getting two-handed swordsman. He's getting cavalier, but he doesn't have units. Oh! 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 Here it comes! Here it comes! The flood! Let's go! Alright, he's produced about two units per barracks, but it's still... It's still units. <laughs> it still counts as something. Oh, he's sending in the horse. Alright. Produce a little bit more. I mean, it's over, right? Uh, Two-handed swordsmen aren't bad. They're still lacking upgrades and numbers. Yeah, look at red. Oh, there he goes again. Not using these, but these here. Here they come. So he did use all of the ones on the front. Props. And now he's 200 pop, just like that. Well done. Oh, what a roller coaster ride that was. Craigasm, though. I love Goths and Post Imp. Oh, and now. Oh, he made these barracks for this castle. Ah. That makes sense now. Okay. I see. Well, Blue probably can't believe it. Because he did kill so many villagers. But Blue, lesson learned, my friend. If you're going to punish, punish, but you have to create your own units. And you have to create villagers. You need eco. And the game ends there. So let's do a final count, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty barracks. Twenty on the nose. Am I missing one? Twenty barracks. All of which he used in the Imperial Age. So the simple lesson I will I will tell you here. Blue, create fills. Create fills. I don't even care if it's one TC. This TC was about as, as, um, hmm. It was about as inactive as Dave's Twitch stream. All right. Don't be Dave's Twitch stream. Stream more. All right. Uh, and then red, you could improve a lot. Like red of, of, if you look at the two players, could really go places. Uh, but, he put over a thousand wood into barracks in Dark Age and never used them. So I would say, if you do want to improve Red, I mean, maybe you just like playing like this, but if you want to improve, use those resources for your economy, and then when you're prepping for the attack, then make the barracks. However, very cute placement. Well done. I want to try Red Strat now. No! <laughs> Don't do it, man. Don't do it. <laughs> like, do it. But do it later, okay? Build the barracks a bit later. Um...
more food, more wood, more stone, more gold. The economy won the game. Look, that's just huge, right? The economy won the game. Sora, if you rewatch this, get the economy sorted, produce a few more villagers, and uh, also unit-wise against Goths, I would say full-throwing Axemen can do it. There's not much that Goths can do against full-throwing Axemen. I mean, they get Onager, but even Onager isn't great against Axis. Um, they can maybe go skirms, but even skirms aren't great. So that's what I would do. It was a winning strat. Yeah. I also once won a game by dropping 16 town centers on the same person. It was just that he was a lower rated player. So I would say regardless of the rating of the opponent I played, you should definitely go 16 town center drop in dark age every single time because it worked once. <laughs> Gouts do get hand cannon. Yeah. Um, you know, there are some options there, but anyways, axemen are definitely the way to go. T90 official, do you think it's better to build 10 barracks in Dark Age or three archer ranges on a neutral? Okay, stop. Listen, this is the YouTube outro. If this goes to YouTube, YouTube, if you'd like to stop by the Twitch stream and enjoy low ELO legends in the future, the Twitch link is below in the video description. We have a good old time here. Hope to see you. <laughs>